All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, SH figure arts uh, figure. And the uh, figure I'm showing you guys is the War Machine from uh, Age of Ultron. And uh, this is the Mark II War Machine. And there it is. Let's take a look at uh, the figure and all the accessories. Now, just like uh, the other, um, the Mark 45, uh, the accessories wise, uh, they're both pretty much the same. You got a lot of the uh, uh, flame effects on here, poster blast effects, and uh, the same amount of hands, which is uh, salute hands, uh, relax hands, and uh, repulsive blast hands. And uh, there's War Machine. Let's take a closer look at War Machine. And he's basically just a repaint of um, Iron Patriot without the star on the chest. But everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, I would say it's uh, exact identical. Other, again, other than the chest. And here's a side view of him. Uh, one thing I don't like about um, Tamashi Nation, it's that... Uh, especially this figure it's an uh, web exclusive so uh, if you don't speak Japanese uh, you won't be able to order it from the website and uh, the website is uh, kind of hard to navigate uh, I try to do the Google Translate but uh, some of the stuff I can't read out uh, I can't read what they're saying and uh, I don't think you could actually ship it to the US because uh, the address section is totally different so it's unfortunate, so if you buy it elsewhere, um, like uh, a place I kind of don't want to mention because uh, they jacked up the price really high for this figure, it's like 99 bucks, but uh, uh, yeah, well I'll just mention it as BBTS. Uh, this thing is supposed to cost, um, I think around 50, 60 bucks, but uh, they jacked up the price to 100 bucks for this, which is... Uh, Kind of annoying that a company needs to do that to make that much of a profit out of uh, out of uh, collectors. So there he is. There's the war machine. And uh, if you own Iron Patriot or any of the Iron Mans, then uh, you know you kind of expect well what type of articulation you're gonna get. A uh, great range of uh, motion around the head area. Oh, oh, yum. Uh, you might need to readjust the head a little bit so you don't see a huge separation between the neck and the head and then uh, the shoulder you can see there's a ball joint that's going into his chest cavity and uh, there's a ball hinge joint around the shoulder and the shoulder pad is on a hinge joint and then uh, double jointed elbows ball jointed wrists chest there's a ball joint hips there's a ball joint uh, wait a waist there's a ball joint and the hips uh, also on a ball joint and here you can see his uh, legs can be lower down uh, this is a uh, articulation point that I really really like and then uh, here I'm not sure if you guys can see it but there's the ball joint around the thigh area and he has a uh, double jointed knees and uh, he has a hinge ankle and a ankle rocker and also uh, toes articulation and uh, he could definitely do the landing pose, but uh, it doesn't look too pretty. Uh, but uh, here you can see um, the hips. He could actually um, get a really, really good range of motion there. And here's a pretty nice looking pose. I got a uh, war machine to do. And uh, again, uh, gr uh, great range of motion. And uh, basically, uh, any type of pose that you could think of uh, he'll be able to achieve it and uh, the arm cannon does have articulation and uh, it could be um, attached either the left side or the right side and you can see there are quite a bunch of hinges uh, on this uh, arm cannon and there's rotation on top as well so yeah overall I do highly highly recommend these figures um, it is kind of pricey because this is the um, Tomashi web exclusive so it's gonna set you back a little bit um, but uh, if you have it, then you're gonna, you're definitely gonna like it. And uh, and again, this is basically a repaint of uh, uh, Iron Patriot, but without the star on the chest. So there it is. There's a War Machine from uh, SH uh, Figuarts. Thanks for watching.